Folks, in the last two weeks, we've seen a whole lot of things change. So the question is, are these short-term blips, or are they really long-term changes that you should be investing in? I've got the perfect panel to discuss. They've got the answers here with us now, along with Bull Tick Capital Markets Chief Strategist, Catherine Rooney Vera. Right, let me begin with you, Catherine. Uh, J. Powell, you know, he, he seems to have you swayed some of the market's anxiety here, uh, but can the Fed really keep ultra low rates this low as bond yields keep rising at this pace? They can, Charles, until inflation gets beyond their control. Beyond their control, I think, being above the 3.5% range. Wow. That is clearly oh. no longer the target, uh. right? Um, okay, so hold on one second. Let me jump in here because uh, I, 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 three and a half—you mean for the CPI inflation number, not for the ten-year yield, right? So, I mean, many people are worried over two percent, two and a half percent. You're saying they can take it to three, three and a half percent before it's a problem? Absolutely, absolutely, Charles. As you, as your introduction was so, was so correct and so accurate. This is a Fed that no longer considers itself as having a dual mandate, which, as we know, explicitly says 2% inflation and full employment. This is a Fed that is wedded to the idea that it has a role to play as a social justice warrior. Very nice to think, but really is that the role of the Federal Reserve? Here to before, what we've seen is almost to the exclusion of everything else, what the Fed has been solely successful in is propping up the equity market. And if you're one of the minority of Americans that has a very nice proportion of your wealth in the equity market, you are ecstatic and you love the Fed, right? But right, if you're the guy right. who's unemployed, or if you're the, the working mother that has to work two or three jobs, you're looking and you're saying, hey, who's getting rich? I'm certainly not. Yeah. So look, I think that the yeah. Fed is willing and able, willing to go beyond the 2% two per, two inflation target to combat climate change, wow. to I, engage in justice, and I think yeah. that's the issue. Three and a half percent is mind-boggling. <laughs> Look, I think that a, a what do you like here? Confidence, I, I think the crisis of confidence in what we call fiat money is more likely than not going to be the next uh, down cycle. It's going to bring about the next big correction, and I can't tell you when that is going to be, but as we accumulate the amount of deficit and debt at the rate that we're doing right now, um, I think it gets more and more a case that favors gold. So I do like gold. I will even tell you that okay. Bitcoin is starting to enter into my purview because it is a, a alternative to, right. to the gold right. trade. Um, but I think that you're right. There is not much value out there right now. And as long as you see inflation at bay and the Fed unlikely to move rates higher because of this abundance of targets that they now have, um, then you do have to remain in risk assets. And I've always said this, Charles, for well, some time with you, and it's your own. We have to protect against inflation. And you can do that by the purchase of tips, which the Fed is buying. You can do right. that by the purchase of gold, right. we, put options, a lot of options. We got you there. We know, you know, you've always given us some ideas. I've got some breaking news, so we're going to have to leave it there, guys. Always enjoy these conversations.